Are you Ayu's avid fan? Then, this video is for you because in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these iconic scrunchies of Ayu. You will need any types of yarn, but I will be using acrylic yarn and Monaco Mercerized Cotton yarn, a darn needle, some stitch markers, 2.5 and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, and hair elastics. Firstly, we will be doing the ruffled scrunchie of IU. We will be using Canon Mercerized Cotton yarn and a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. So, let's start! To begin, create a slip knot. Insert your hook to the loop and elastic. And fasten it up. We're going to do half double crochets all around here. And approximately 120 stitches. To half double crochet, chain 2. Yarn over, insert your hook to the elastic, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook to the elastic, yarn over, pull through, again yarn over, insert your hook to the elastic, yarn over, and pull through. Don't forget to put a stitch marker on the very first half double crochet. So that's one, two, three, three half double crochet. We still have 117 stitches. So let's proceed. Please take note that the number of stitches may vary depending on your yarn, the size of your hook, and your tension. Also, Please take note to wash out your number of stitches just to make sure that the elastic won't be stretched out. So that's 60 half double crochet and what I like to do is to scooch this around. I'm pulling the hair elastic and scrunching up my stitches so I can carry on and create more room for the remaining 60 stitches. Alright, so that's 120 stitches and we're going to slip stitch the last half double crochet with the very first half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through. Let's proceed. So, we will be doing double crochet in row 2. Also, we will have an increase to every third chain, okay? So that would be double crochet, double crochet, and increase. 
alright? So, one double crochet to the very first chain, yarn over, insert your hook to the very first chain here. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, one double crochet to the second chain. So, here, the second chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And for the third chain, we'll be doing two double crochet. So, insert your hook to the third chain, here, so yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, another one double crochet to the third chain. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So we will be doing this pattern until the end of row two. By the way, if you wanted your scrunchie to have more ruffles, you may add more stitches to each chain. Like, instead of double crochet, double crochet increase, you may do double crochet increase, increase, or two double crochet per chain. It's all up to you. We're almost done in row 2. Finish off row 2, we're going to slip stitch the end or the last double crochet to the very first double crochet here. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through. For the last row, we will do one double crochet in each chain. No more increase in row 3 this time. So yarn over, insert your hook to the very first chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? Again, slip stitch the last double crochet to the very first double crochet, yarn over, and pull through. So we're almost done. Now, cut your yarn. Chain 2. Pull up your yarn. Pull it nice and tight. Lastly, weaving this ends and we're good to go. Ta-da! So this is our ruffle scrunchie. Next, I'll show you how to make the in the round scrunchie of Ayu. I'll be using acrylic yarn from Daiso in color pink, navy blue, and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So, let's start. To begin, create a slip knot. Insert your hook to the loop and chain. 13. You can make as many chain as you want, but make sure it's not too short or not too long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now, insert the hair elastic to the foundation chain. like so and combine the ends by slip knot insert your hook to the first chain here yarn over and pull through start row one we will be doing half double crochet to half double crochet chain two Yarn over, insert your hook with the very first foundation chain here. Yarn over and pull through. Row 1 will consist of 15 half double crochet. We will count the first 2 chain in the beginning as the first half double crochet. So, let's continue to half double crochet until row 40. Okay, for the succeeding row, we will do half double crochet to the second chain. Same as what we did in row 1. So that's already 20 rows and what I like to do is to scooch these around I'm pulling the hair elastic and scrunching up my stitches like so so I can carry on and create more room for the remaining 20 rows.
Now, we are already done with 40 rows, but I am planning to add 5 more rows so we can fully stretch the elastic nicely, like so. And that would be a total of 85 rows. Alright, so we are done with the 85 rows. So, before we combine these two ends, don't forget to weave in the initial tail. This one. Weave in first and combine these two. After weaving the initial tail, we're going to combine these two ends by slip stitch. Okay, so insert your hook to the last chain and to the very first foundation chain here. Yarn over and pull through. So for the second chain, what are we going to do is to insert a hook just at the back loop. As you can see, we have two loops here, but we only insert a hook to the back loop and to the foundation chain. This one, yarn over and pull through. So we'll continue doing this until the end of the row. After combining these two, we're going to chain two, one, cut your yarn and pull up your yarn make sure to pull it nice and tight and lastly weave in these ends and we're good to go. Ta-da! So that's our in the round scrunchie. So this is our final output. Firstly, our ruffle scrunchie. I actually made another one which is in color blue. Since IU has two ruffle scrunchies. I actually really love how the ruffles turned out. And the second one is the in the round scrunchie. It's so bulky and chunky and I also love how it turned out as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it would be amazing if you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out any of my future crochet tutorials. Bye!